Hey guys, Draco here. I just wanted to uh, go over some stuff since the update. So it turns out I was a beta tester. I did a lot of the bug testing for this update. So I know a lot of stuff that's going on in here. So let's cover some stuff real quick. First off, there's a new raid boss. Her name is Bella Noir. As you can see here, I've been breeding her. So let's see if I got a higher level one here. So this is Bella. You can get her at level 30. And I'm going to show you what it takes now. So what you want to get are these fragments right here. Now, Bella Noir Slab is level 30, Raid Boss. Bella Libero Slab Fragment is level 50 boss. Yeah, if you defeat level 50 boss, you get a different kind of slab for a stronger version of Bella Noir Libero. That being said, these bosses are extremely difficult by yourself. I don't care what anyone says. We had big arguments about it in the bug reporting. But a lot of people were exploiting to beat Libero. And the way they were doing it was... Um, they were using Vanguard on five different pals. And it would stack and make your attack really high. And then you could beat it. So you're going to come to level 45 dungeon if you want to get to level 50 pieces. And you're going to come to a volcano dungeon. I think they're level 40, maybe 35. And you'll get the level 30 pieces. You can also go to a pal sanctuary and collect all the chests. I'm going to do a video on that in a second. First... You're going to want to run straight, look left, look left, look right, look forward. So you see how it forward, it's a crossroad, left and right, left goes deeper, right goes to the end. So you go through here, get our boss. What I like to do, do a couple of those. A dragon, Tetragon, finish him. And then, here's what you're looking for, guys. These two chests at the end here. So, that's the slab fragment. And now we have these new types items this one which gives 100k experience as you can see in the top left there and then we also have the ancient technique manual which gives you ancient technology points so if you go in here you'll notice I have 26 points now more than enough to buy everything so level 40 volcanic ca cavern we'll drop the other ones Maybe even some lower dungeons will. Let's see if I can figure this one out fast. Uh, let me try this way. Oh, this is the other way, chat. I highly rec recommend bringing a Gale Wing Glider. 
makes this stuff so much easier. Another thing is cavern mushrooms. You can use cavern mushrooms to make uh, healing potions. You can also put the healing potions in your inventory and they will heal your pals as needed. So you're going to want to come through these caves looking for cavern mushrooms. So if you're looking for chests, there are like always in these areas. And the volcano ones, they'll give you these ones, purples. They're 10,000 each experience. Okay, here's the boss. So here's the cavern mushrooms, huh? They're, they're usually all over the place, but got really unlucky in this volcano. Let's see here. Training manual. I got no slabs from that. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to show you my, my favorite way to farm them. Now, I'm going to show you how to farm. Multiple fragments easily. You're going to come to these pile sanctuaries. There's three of them one, two, three. And you're going to fly there on whatever. I, I highly recommend a jet trigon because you're so fast. Now, what I like to do, I like to come these outer edges here and you'll see Bellinar flag or right now Bella Noir slab and a high grade technical manual so let's make some room here there's our oh wait a strong one This one, this is the one we just got. That's for level 30. So we're going to finish our little run. We're going to go all the way around. Make sure if your render list distance is low, you come in close or you won't see the chest. We're just going to make our way around Pal Sanctuary. Usually a lot more than this. There's one. Okay, so we got two already. And some schematics and all that stuff. So then you're going to come in here. There's usually one over here. And now you can go to the left or the right. I usually go to the left. Because there's a staircase over here. Sorry guys, I got no room here.
And then another one here. Just gonna throw it here. Okay. And then got spotted, but that's okay. One here. One here. That's how many that's four. That's enough to summon her once. Five. Now another thing I recommend. If you want to make uh, mind wipes, beautiful flowers, you want to collect these too while you're going around. See? Now, you can do all three tile sanctuaries, but I'm going to move on to uh, showing you guys the boss fight. In order to fight the boss, you're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need some slabs. With the slabs in your inventory, you're going to come over and you're going to see this here, okay? You're going to craft it, the slab. Well, that's crafting. I need to make, I'll show it to you. I need to make this summoning altar. So the summoning altar costs 100 stone, 20 fragment. Okay, your slab's done. Here it is. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna do the raid boss real quick. Now, here's how you do it, okay? It's kind of a pain in the ass, but you're gonna pick, uh, you wanna pick a base that you don't really use for anything. Like for me, it's coal. So the coal base is not too bad for doing it. I need to pull out some, a new buy to build this for me. Okay. Now, I'm gonna sort by level. Does you want like all level 50s for this? Okay. So, this, 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 this. The so level 30 is dark type. And then the level 50 is dark and then has a second phase, returns to ice. This is not meant to be done single player. Level 30, you can do it. Level 50, a lot tougher. You're going to have to have a lot of work in order to beat it. I tried to get them to scale it for single player and they refused to listen to me because the bug testers voted against me. So if you agree with me and think that this boss or the Noir version, the Barrow version should be nerfed for single player, let me know in the comments below. So this is the first boss fight. be hard to see because there's so many enemies there's so many pals you can also throw out pals to fight here but there's no need in the first first fight this is on normal mode guys if you were doing this on hard mode it would be a lot more difficult I had to uh, turn it down to normal because of the lack of bounds, sadly. I reckon, well, apparently the meta or the exploit, I call it, is to just get legendary blueprints and then uh, three pals, the Vanguard, and then just max your attack out, sit here and rocket it until it's dead. I don't know about you guys, I'm not a big fan of attack builds because you have like zero weight 
and it's just not good for playing 90% of the game. So, uh, I was very disappointed with this news. But anyway, when you beat the boss, you should drop all that stuff there you see on the left. So you get cores, which is used for making some of the newer uh, ancient technologies. So, for instance, you're going to need it for ability glasses, egg incubator, that kind of thing. So, I also got this egg, huge dark egg. This is what's going to turn into the raid boss. Let me just defeat it. So, I'll just show you real quick. I think I, I, think I need to change my server settings so it instantly hatches. But anyway, you already know what it looks like. I, I'll show you up here. This is what they look like. If you're lucky, you might get an alpha one from the egg. And also, they're like 85% female. So getting a really good male is hard. Like, very hard. So let's do the second boss fight now. Okay, I have, okay, I have slab. Now, I'm going to show you how difficult this actually is. Now this is this is why I told you to do this at a different base. You're gonna see you now why. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my whole base here now. Lose the fight. It's gonna be sad days. But this is just to show you guys so you don't lose everything. You want the new blueprints? They all they come from Verdash, Valet, and Quivern. Quivern right here. So Quivern drops um pump action shotgun. Uh Valet is a single shot rifle. And then Verdash is the legendary musket. If you're looking for those three things. Now I'm going to start this fight. I know I'm not going to beat this, but. I just want to show you guys how difficult this actually is. Okay. Another thing I wanted to mention, if you beat the first boss, you get this. Level 2 heat resistance, level 2 cold resistance, it's an accessory, very good. If you beat Libero, you get plus 2. So level 3, plus 3 and plus 3. So that's amazing. Now. Summon. Throw this guy out. Blow myself up with a rocket. Look how tanky she is on normal mode with all level 50s. And that might not seem very tanky, but wait till we all run out of cooldowns. It makes waves go across the ground that hurt you. You want to watch out for that. Then you're going to come over here. Check for faints. Switch them out. So we've done about 40,000 damage so far. Got a bunch of major injuries. I'm out of rockets. Usually when I fight her, I don't 
I don't even die. I end up uh, running out of time. <laughs> but when I first fought her, she used to destroy me. Oh, nice. All my stuff's all over the ground. Base is slowly being destroyed. We got some guys knocked out here. We're gonna switch those out as fast as possible. Now, good tip for you guys. Uh, I don't know if you know this, I didn't know this. Dark pals can blind, which makes enemies attack slower and miss more often. Um, fire burns things, does damage over time based on their health, really good. Lightning will stun things. As, and so will ice, will freeze things. Um, she's really bad against dragon. I'm not sure if dragon has a status effect or not. But yeah, every every stat has has an effect. Also, dark has poison too. If you have certain spells, certain uh, abilities. But there's places where you can. Uh, use these abilities to your advantage. Like blind is really good here. To stop her from using her spells so often. Fire is really good here because it burns her over time. That being said, she's dark, so you're not going to do very much damage with a lot of dark types, right? I'm losing so hard. Guys, if you can do this with friends, highly recommend it. It's not that fun to do by yourself, let me tell you. Out of bullets. Let's try a legendary musket. Yeah, we ain't beating this. She has two. So let me tell you how hard this is. She has two forms. She has like 900,000 HP. <laughs> I can't even get her down to half. Well, I can get her past half, but on her first form. So it's only a quarter of her health. Now here's the crazy part. If there was four of us here, we'd have four extra pals and we'd all be shooting rockets. So it would be a lot easier. But all these pals at your base, like, you're, they're shared, so I don't know. This is gonna be. I've done a lot of raid fights in my life. You know, I did mythic raiding and WoW. I've done like all kinds of stuff over my 25 years in gaming. This is weird. Does this not balance very well? And I told them about it, and they didn't listen to me. So, so all you can do, I guess. Yeah, if you can't beat this by yourself, don't feel bad. You're not the only one. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm waiting for a patch to fix this before I start getting deep into playing this again. See how many guys do I have dead now?
If I was on hard mode, she would have just killed me and I'd, I'd have to respawn and all that stuff. In normal mode, she can't even kill me, but I can't kill her either. It's like, it's so weird, guys. It's so weird. The balance is so off for single player. So help me in changing their minds because this is this is not this is not where it should be guys I'm gonna be honest with you half the bug testers were using like mods cheats exploits you know and I was playing the game normally and they didn't even take my advice I ended up leaving the bug reporting because there was nothing left to do, and they didn't take the advice I gave them. And look where we are. An endless boss fight. They have to exploit for it to beat it. <laughs> if you thought the legendaries were bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. The best method I've tried so far would be to actually beat it properly. It would be to just use a lot of ice and try to keep it frozen. But then you don't do enough damage. See, what else was there that I need to test, guys? This is a fail. Have you seen training manuals? Kelp season that produce power fluids at the ranch. Ah, the Ring of Mercy. Oh yeah, the monitoring stand has things you can do with it now. Well, nobody won. Everything's dead. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's just... I don't really feel like exploiting, making an attack build just to beat this, so... You guys are going to have to use your imagination. You probably know this. You might know this. But there's a new... New items. And um, you see this ore mining site. So that'll be this one right here. You can farm ore in your base now. And uh, that means you don't need a metal farm anymore. So I recommend, I'll show you my two now. I recommend building somewhere in the desert. Now I chose here because there's lots of coal here. And besides that, Dazzy spawn here sometimes. 
When you kill Dazzy now, it gives you a thundercloud that you can use for a consumable item that brings you back to your base. So homeward thundercloud, okay? So let's just say I ran inside the base and I need to get back inside really fast. You're gonna use your homeward thundercloud. You're gonna jump on your little nimbus cloud and you're gonna go right back to the base. As far as I know, well, during the beta test, it would only bring you back to your third base but it seems like now it just brought me back to my first base, so maybe it goes to your nearest base now. I'm not really sure. You're gonna do some testing. And then I made a sulfur base so I can make gunpowder fast. So here you can see this is my sulfur base. You can't really see the sulfur, but there's a lot of sulfur rocks here. And I chose fire pals because, and flying pals, because they won't burn. One thing I will say is you want to be careful, because if you stand next to a fire pal, it makes you even hotter. And you will burn here. Next thing would be uh, the antique dresser. So, we're going to go in here. Technology. You're going to come in here. You're going to find the antique dresser. You're going to craft it. And then it's going to let you change your appearance. Let's go to sleep real quick. So they build this. You now connect stairs facing upwards. Roof pieces now directly connect to foundations. Triangle walls can now be connected to stairs. Cool. Characters will be defenseless while editing. Proceed. So yeah, you can change everything here. So that's cool. And then, um, oh, some of the one of the biggest changes is these ability glasses, huh? So you can check everything's IVs now just by looking at them. Amazing change. Makes your life so much easier. As you can see here, I've been breeding Bella Noir. <laughs> 100, 199, 99. So, okay. They fixed some of the building. So I just wanted to show you real quick. You can now put a stone roof on a foundation, letting you build on uneven surfaces easier, if you didn't realize what that was for. So let's say the ground was uneven here. Now you're gonna have a flat, flat um, floor. And also, look at this: allow transport by pals. You can turn that on or off. They'll put that in storage for you. And then also on top of this, you come over to the monitoring stand, set work preferences, and you can have Bellonar help or not help, do medicine, not do medicine, uh, transport, not transport, attack enemies in their base, that kind of thing. And this works really good now. We did some bug testing and it made it, feel, made it feel really good. I like it. Okay, yeah, there's another thing I need to show you. So if you come through chest now, you see chest settings. All these. So you can actually check mark what you want inside the box. So for this one, it's pal eggs. And then if I drop... What the hell is going on? If I drop stuff on the ground... They'll pick it up and put it in the chest. They pick it up, bring it to the chest. Let me drop more stuff. So what I did was you're going to want, um, two of each kind of chest, mainly for like schematics and stuff. So I have materials on both sides, see that? And then that way I never run out of places to put things. See, Scythia skill fruits getting filled up. 
And then I have my workstations next to it, my pal box. And then I have uh, more workstations over there. And I got my little garden over here. Beds, wood, metal over there, rocks right there. And then I have a ranch. And all my breeding is done upstairs. Up here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.